friends today we are going to discuss about the catabolism of phenylalanine phenylalanine after hydroxylation will form tyrosine so the enzyme in the first step is phenylalanine hydroxylase okay hydroxylation of phenylalanine will produce tyrosine after this transamination will occur transamination will occur and alpha ketoglutate after taking ammonia from tyrosine will form glutamic acid and this tyrosine will convert into para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid find it para para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid and the enzyme is simply transaminase because transamination is occurring here <coughs> in next step this para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid will form homogenetic acid homogenetic acid is also known as dihydroxy phenyl acetic acid so you see dihydroxy 2 oh and in this para hydroxy means 1 oh was there and now 2 oh so enzyme will be para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid hydroxylase okay it will form in the homogenetic acid after this homogenetic acid will form <coughs> melyl acetic acetoacetic acid okay by homogenetic acid oxidase homogenetic acid oxidase in presence of this enzyme homogenetic acid will convert into melyl acetoacetic acid and this will isomerize to fumarile acetic acid acid so enzyme will be isomerized and then fumarile acetic acid acid will go under hydrolysis by enzyme hydrolase to form acetoacetic acid and fumaric acid okay fumaric acid and this is acetoacetic acid and this acetoacetic acid will go under ketogenic pathway and this will go under glucogenic pathway so this was the metabolism of phenylalanine clear and now we are going to discuss its trick how will you remember phenylalanine tyrosine simple pp papa okay and this is home papa home ma father f a a okay this is father this is father this is ma to so, pp papa home ma father